Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Be me again. Jamie's Rev here. Huh? Well, I've been a bit busy doing my car lately. ABS lights and ESP and new brake calipers and all sorts of crap. <laughs> and anyway, waiting for parts for that. So I got back on with this last night. I had a few ups and downs with it. Basically, the idea was to try and use the original limbs. And make it shoot these bolts, but that just really weren't happening. I slipped a bolt in it by mistake the other night that I hadn't finished working on. I hadn't filed a half moon in the knock and filed the taper off the edge and that got stuck in here a bit. It did shoot, but then I inspected it and it broke the corner off the cam. So I've swapped that with one off mine. And I've glued the little chunk back on, but I don't know if it'll hold. <laughs> But I've got plans for new limbs, riser cams for that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, got that in and got it back together. Fired one shot, that was fine. I went to cock it again and I heard the limbs splitting. enough if we see that all four of them have split all right there is a problem with this apart from their crap anyway the top two will always have a lower number than the bottom two but those two numbers should match. So we've got 490 on the top and then they put stronger ones in the bottom because the cable pulls on the bottom more. So they put a stronger limb on the bottom to try and stop the cams tilting when you're cocking it and firing it. But that doesn't quite work properly on these limbs. But yeah, Basically, we've got 495 on one and 497 on the other. So, I've decided that I'm never going to try and upgrade one of these with all the work I put into it and leave these crappy things on. So, she's got all new limbs on her now, and I've made a slight alteration because I used to put the slant of the limb top and bottom so the inside was flat like these but there's so little clearance on those cams I've now turned them or swapped them bottom for the top so we've now got a lot more clearance in there and that's running a lot lot smoother like that and I've wrapped that angle grinder handle in vinyl and gave away some money in the end because it blocked the end up nicely. But I've shot this ooh, probably 40 times today now and it now feels like something that I want to pick up and shoot. <laughs> that's, that's super now. So I just need some finishing touches now. I'm 
white and for some black hot milk glue to do here because black, uh, white doesn't look very nice. And I've got to take the cocking mechanism out because that's grinding a little bit. So that needs sorting. Just a couple of finishing touches and um, no. If you own a supersonic rev or if you're thinking of getting one, these bolts, I would not use any of those. You got these, which are what about 145 grind, which is way, way, way too light. These are about 165, and again, way, way too light. And these stupid things, they're not straight, and you put one of those in there, that adapter is going to hit the end of your flight deck about half an inch before it gets to the string. So if you don't realise, you, you're going to have a, a half inch of dry fire there. which is most likely going to end up in a big bang as it snaps your string in half and then breaks all four limbs and God knows what. So I've not, well, this, this is like doing backwards research really, trying to keep those limbs because I've gone to the bolts which I made for mine and sent Tom some as well. Um, we're ranging here from like 180 up to 300, well, 283 on these two. Um, this, this one I've been loving today. That's 252 grain. That's got one of my precision 125 stainless tips in it. And oh, dear me, that little bow was loving that. That is one of your bolts, Jamie, with the adapter in it. <coughs> but yeah, the only way you're going to get the weight on these skinny bolts that you need for these bows is um, with these adapters. Because these ones are rubbish. They're not long enough. They glue them all the way down. And then you can't screw your point in it anyway. And, and they're not straight and they're too, they make the bolt too short. So absolute no, no, big warning there, folks. Be very, very careful about what bolt you put in these bows because I've, I've just had some disasters. I, like I said, that's like going backwards in research and no, I, I, I shall never put a, another bolt in. It, it's like mine, I, I got it running really really well with like 230 to 250 grain in it and then one night i put a new set of string and cables in it and i thought i wonder what that'll do with 165 grain and it just stretched my cables and sounded awful so i've never gone back to that kind of weight so it was a bit silly really doing it with this one but there we go Lesson learned. So yeah, the full rebuild now, that's really the only way to go with them. It, I, I tried it without a second roller here and it, it just weren't as accurate as mine or Tom's. So I built another roller and <laughs> uh, she's accurate now. <laughs> but, phew, it's a hot, sweaty day. But, um, kids are screaming. Let's load this bad boy up and let some flies in.
So this is 200, uh, 100, hang on, no. 252 grind in this one. Yeah. 252. That's typical when you start filming, it goes somewhere different to where it was earlier. This one is 283 grain. It's got a lovely sound to it now. It hasn't got that violent crack anymore. But you can hear that 283 is a, a little bit heavy for it. But yeah, 230 to, well, 225 to 250 is a very good weight in that. But, um, I have been saying about building a, a new bow. Basically what I did was I designed and made a set of 16 inch 3K, three fletched, that's 320 grain. And I've been struggling to find a bow that I actually want to shoot them in that that can actually shoot them as well because most of the ones I've been looking at that I like are again like the Hex. They're 20 inch bolts and I'm presuming they're like 8.8 .8 mil as well. So I'm building a new bow. So hopefully <laughs> get my 500 feet per second out of this bolt. But I'm waiting on a few, few things. And my first cable configuration, I'm, I tried to do it like the supersonic one, but it um, tilts the cams over way too much. So I need to go to the double one. And I'm going to. Put some roller bearings here to guide it and stuff. And yeah, so hopefully this will be finished soon. And so hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for this because I can't wait to get shooting that. <laughs> anyway, Jamie, there she is. Not quite finished yet, but it soon will be. All right. I'm sweating my nuts off because it's like really hot and phew, I need to take this apart again and um, sort that caulking mechanism out. It sounds like two bits of metal grinding together. Right, anyway, hit that like button, subscribe, keep an eye out. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Have a good day. I forgot to mention, I've got a Another supersonic rev sitting in this unopened box from Finland to sort out. So there'll be another good one coming. Like I say, subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, be more future vids coming soon. <laughs>